In this Moto Vlog, I'll discuss the Junkyard, Extreme Burgers and Brats, Dark Siding, and Riding Highway 101 in Oregon. <laughs> Well, here I am in Newport, Oregon. I just filled up. I hope the rest of 101 isn't like this. Newport has busy traffic. Newport has a lot of traffic. Probably filtered that one. I uh, edit that out. Uh, this part's not much fun. I get through Newport. What's all these people doing? Two, it's almost three o'clock. A lot of these people go to the beach. Leave me alone. Let me ride. Oh, there's what's wrong. It's the fuzz. Uh, they got a customer. I can't tell from here what's going on, but got some blockage, some road blockage. I've so got a trailer, a utility trailer. Maybe the van was pulling the utility trailer. So what happened? I see the van in the trailer. So the burger I had at the junkyard, Extreme Burgers and Brats. Now, do you really need to put Extreme in your name? But anyway, the burger was pretty extreme. It's a good-sized burger to begin with. Here's a picture of it. So it's a good-sized burger, and on that burger, you have your typical things, pickles and what have you. But they make this cheese thing, where it's uh, cheese with pepperoni and jalapenos and onions all mixed into it, and then the cheese is made crispy. So that was outstanding, and as you can see, overtaking the, the bun. Uh, so the burgers themselves, I have to assume all of them are of good quality like that. Delicious. The place itself was a little strange when I got there. I uh, looked for a parking spot and I found one around back. Now, around back was kind of far away, evidently. Uh, when I pulled up, it, was like, it says restroom. I was like, well, I'm near the restroom. I guess that's good. But for whatever reason, the place you order is quite a ways away from the restroom. So the restroom is outside. I assume there's plumbing in there. I did not test that out. So the restroom is outside. You have to go for a little walk. But they have lots of seating outside. Um, and then a little bit of seating inside. Uh, the doors going inside are not well marked. But it looks like you can order from outside. I just didn't know what to do. And instead of exploring, I just followed somebody in from they just went in that door. I saw there was a door that said employees only, and then next to that was another door, and I went in that other door. And when I got in there, I saw people sitting and eating, and then I saw somebody ordering, kind of around the, the drink dispenser, so it wasn't really easy to see from that door. Now, there was another door coming in uh, that... Uh, I guess you could say a waitress was coming and going. Now, it's not a sit-down restaurant, but uh, you get a number when you order, and then somebody brings you your food. So it's uh, it's really expensive for for that. Oftentimes, you pay that much for a burger, you have uh, somebody waiting on you. But uh, it is an extreme burger, so not something I would eat every day, but but definitely delicious. My idea on dark siding. I've been toying with it because there's a lot of IBA riders who dark side, so it can't be all bad. Uh, but it, last time I looked into it, I shied away from it because the beads are different. So it seems like the tire won't sit properly on the bead. Chris Caliente, he's He's got some stuff going on dark siding. One thing he did that really made me uh, think about trying it out is he had another rim. It's a separate rim with the car tire on it. So the, the car tire is on one rim. He's got a motorcycle tire on the other. So if anything goes wonky, 
he just switches back to the motorcycle tire. Now, another thing that really has me think about the car tire is the car tires are set up for a heavier weight. They have a, a higher load capacity than the motorcycle tires. Uh, these big bikes at the gold wing kind of push the, the top limits of most motorcycle tires anyway. And then if you want to tow on top of that, you're going to wear out the motorcycle tires. And, I, and that's kind of what Chris Caliente was experiencing, going through tires quite quickly. And, and the biggest thing, if you watch his videos, was uh, he wasn't happy with being on a, a graded highway. He was just kind of pushed everywhere. And supposedly the car tire diminishes that quite a bit. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. But I have ordered me a rim. I found a guy selling a used rim. So I will have an extra rim. I'll get, my, get myself a car tire, and I'll try it out. If I like it, uh, it's going to be great. I've heard nothing but good things. From the people who've actually done it, I did hear one bad thing for someone who tried it out once. Uh, somebody, I, I guess he had a friend who had a, it was dark siding, and he went for a little test ride, and it was not good for him. He did not like it, and that's fine. You should, if you want to try it, you should try it out, and then you know if you like it or not. So I'm I'm gonna give it a, a good shot. I'll I'll get the tire, I'll ride it for a while. Uh, we'll probably say 500 miles. Once I get 500 miles in, then I'll know if I if I like it or not. If I don't like it after 500 miles, then I'm I'm done with it. But I gotta wait for the tire to show up. It is an individual that's shipping it to me, and once I get that, then I can try it myself, and then I can have a actual opinion on it. I have some ideas about it, but until you actually do it, they're just ideas, not really a I will be able to form an opinion. Chris Caliente likes it. He's he's got a lot of other people doing it because people people listen to him. I do. He's not gonna say, "Oh, try this," because somebody else told me it was good. No, he's he's trying it out. He hasn't done his final review yet, but all his preliminary reviews are just glowing. He even talked to a couple other people. One guy in particular, he's been doing it for many years. Another thing, he said he first got into it because you can patch the tires, and then he stayed with it because of all these other benefits, uh, more comfort, um, I forget what all the benefits were, but he liked it. Oh, better traction. Evidently, a lot of science has gone into car tires today, and not near as much has gone into motorcycle tires, because there's just, there's just more car tires out there than there are motorcycle tires. So, people aren't motivated financially, I say people, tire manufacturers aren't motivated financially to put a lot into their tires, right? Because in order to put a lot of research and development in there, you're either going to have to jack the prices way up, and they're already too expensive, or you have to sell a whole bunch of them. And I bet if they looked at it, their market's probably pretty much the same. So they jack the prices up, though. It's already at the top limit that anybody would try. So they're kind of stuck with the science that they have. Or with car tires, you sell so many car tires that you can do R&D. You got the volume. So I read that article somewhere or other. Somebody on one of the, I think on one of Chris's videos, had posted this article. I can't remember who it was, Motor Trend, or it was, it looked like something that, some website that had some credibility to it, uh, they, they mentioned that. I was like, you know what, that makes a lot of sense. So the only real hang-up is, uh, is a bead. Now, the gold wings, at least some of us, we have this uh, tire pressure monitoring system. I think that's going to help with the bead issue, because if you have enough pressure in there, you're not going to lose the bead. Now... Mr. Caliente has a run flat, and I'm probably going to go with a run flat too, but I don't think that's going to work. I, I do believe if the tire goes flat, you're probably going to lose the bead, and so you're not going to be able to run it flat. Now, maybe we can limp by or something, but um, I'm afraid a bead will be lost once it runs flat. But with the tire pressure monitoring system, you'll be able to make sure the air doesn't get too low so you can keep the bead. Now, that's my idea. Have I tried any of it? Nope. But that's my idea.
No pressure, keep the bead. Pressure too low, lose the bead. Um, will I test that? Eh, probably not. Depot Bay. I like Depot Bay. So, riding 101. What can I say about that? It's a uh, beautiful scenic. Look at that. Scenic. There's some uh, some decent curves on 101, too, and spots. And there's these little towns, little towns scattered about. So if you like a uh, little shopping, maybe some antique shopping, you like some little hole-in-the-wall restaurants, a uh, little nice coastal town feel, just come up and down 101. Now, I don't usually get footage when it's uh, nice and sunny like this. A little more on the traffic. Here we are now in Lincoln City. You can see plenty of traffic. I'm currently thinking uh, if I do this ride again, we come in on 18. We come in north of Lincoln City. And this is what we see north of Lincoln City. One of my favorite stretches of 101 is north of, uh, essentially north of Long Beach. Long Beach, Washington. From there up to Raymond. 